Lyft, you were doing this right from the very beginning until now. Why make this change? So I've been driving with Lyft recently because they've been offering some great earnings guarantees. And with those earnings guarantees, what you want to do is get as many minimum fare rides as possible in order to maximize the bonus amount for the guarantee payment. And normally when I'm driving for Lyft and I'm accepting a lot more variety of requests, I, typically after every single request, I will turn the stop new requests option on. So this means I won't receive queued requests. I won't see these back-to-back -back ride requests. But with those earnings guarantees, I'm hunting those minimum fare rides. So I keep those turned on. I keep those back-to-back -back requests on because I want to maximize my minimum fare trips. And every time I see one of those in the back-to-back -back queue, I'll accept those. If they're longer, I'll decline those. So I was driving during the afternoon rush one day and I kept getting these queued ride requests and I saw that they were five miles away every single time, like five and a half miles away. So there's no way I was gonna accept those requests. If they're more than five miles away from my current rider's drop-off location, why would I accept them? They're too far away. After this happened like three times in a row, I was wondering what was going on. My current rider, their drop-off location was about four miles away and each queued request that I was getting was about, again, five and a half miles away. So I thought to myself, are they adding in the mileage to my current rider's drop-off location plus the mileage from the drop-off location to the next rider's pickup location and sure enough they are now and here's a look at one of those queued requests you can see that my current passenger I am dropping them off at the airport and the next queued request is coming from the airport so essentially the pickup distance should be like one minute and zero miles but it's calculating in the mileage and time from my current location I don't know why Lyft is doing this now they had been doing it right for years they had been doing it from the current rider's drop-off location to the next rider's pickup location, the time and mileage. And for years, Uber was doing it the wrong way. They were doing it the way Lyft is doing it now. And now Uber's doing it the right way. Where on those queued rides, you get the time and distance from the current rider's drop-off location to the next rider's pickup location, not from where you currently accept the queued ride. And that is the way to properly do it. The mileage and time you need to know is from your current rider's drop-off location to your next rider's pickup location, not from where you accept the queued ride. From where you accept the queued ride to where your current rider's drop-off location is, is Eaton mileage. You're already going to spend that time and mileage to get there. You need to know what it is from the drop-off location to the next rider's pickup location. And Lyft, you were doing it right for all these years. Why make this change? You're confusing drivers. I mean, I suggest for a lot of drivers to just turn that stop new requests option on after every single request just in general. But again, when I have earnings guarantees like these and I know what types of rides I'm hunting, I'm hunting minimum fare rides, I'm gonna keep that on so I can just keep getting those back-to-back -back minimum fare rides if I can. So after I figured this out, I kept those queued rides on. I was able to figure out, okay, it is calculating from where I currently am not from my current rider's drop off to the next rider's pickup. But now that I have to make some more calculations in my head, rather than Lyft just keeping it the same way they have for years, the right way, I have no idea why they made this change. It makes no sense at all. Lyft, please change this back to the right way. We don't need to know the time and distance from where we accept the queued ride. We need to know it from the current rider's drop off location to the next rider's pickup location. What about all of you? Have you all noticed this? Were you all confused by this like I was? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.